Vice President Dr. Mohamed Baumia expressed concern about the cost of dialysis treatment in Ghana. Currently, the cost of treatment per session within a week is more than 1,000 Ghana cities. Within a month, it's over 4,000 Ghana cities, while within a year, it's over 57,000 cities. Oftentimes, patients have to do out-of-pocket payments, which tends to deplete their mega earnings. At an event by the Ghana Kidney Association to celebrate its 50 years of dialysis in the country, Vice President Dr. Mohamed Baumia emphasized on enrolling children with kidney diseases on the NHIS. This is a very good point, and I think that at the very least, um, the NHIS at least could cover treatment for children on dialysis to start with. Whilst we also advocate for the NHIS to come in, we should also think about their finances and also advocate for more financing for the NHIS to make whatever uh, uh, challenges they take on sustainable. Otherwise, we don't want to break the NHIS in the process, and uh, then everybody loses out. He called for partnership with the private sector to begin manufacturing consumables for dialysis treatment. What we have done to bring in vaccine manufacturing in Ghana, we can do the same for dialysis manufacturing in Ghana. We can, we can do it. It's less complicated than what we have for vaccines. And so government would be prepared to support in whatever way to make sure we manufacture here. Therefore, we reduce the cost component and make sure there is affordability. President of the Ghana Kin Association, Professor Samson Enki, lauded government's commitment for providing support for the treatment. The celebration was under the theme, 50 years of dialysis in Ghana, the past, present and the future.